Hello YouTube. In this video I'm going to show off uh, the Rigid Gems 2.0 uh, little kind of benchmark that's been released um, by a Japanese developer. Um, it's not really going to provide too much information regarding frame rates etc but it's, it's just kind of interesting to see what it does because uh, it's a hybrid ray tracing kind of engine that they've developed uh, that looks very very nice so let's run it and put it into full screen mode. So you can see here the focus, the depth of field effects that it's got on the objects in front of the screen as the camera po pan ar pans around and then looks at the rings uh, in the background. Now you can grab an item and shift it around as you can see here or you can zoom in and zoom out or pan the camera so if I do this for instance and I grab a ring here you can see some of the physics effects and as the camera does some more depth of field and blurring effects as each object changes again I can grab a ring and move it in around in the world it's a neat little tech demo of uh, of the hybrid ray tracing engine that they seem to have developed for this and you can see all the different lighting effects that they've got going on this isn't particularly running at a massive high resolution either I haven't been able to find out how you can change that to a proper 1080p resolution but even so you get the uh, you get the idea of how it might look especially if it was in a, a real world graphics um, for, for a real world game and you can see all the reflection effects off the marble and the world around there's also a separate scene which we can shift to by pressing the enter button. Again, you can see all the, the blurring effects as it zooms in and out. Add some depth of field of objects in the foreground and in the background. Looking at this chest set and some rings again. beautiful reflections and light effects on each different object as the camera swings around and then we go to another scene with all the different rings if we go back uh, back to we move on, you can see again the level of detail in the objects is quite superb really it's a very small download file as well um, if you just do a google search for rigid gem rigid gem sorry uh, version 2.0 you'll find the link, I think it's only about 70 meg or something It's worth taking a, a look at to see what, you know, maybe the, possibly the future generation of GPUs with full ray tracing engines in development once the power of the GPU um, really gets powerful enough to, uh, to be capable of handling those kind of engines, what, the, uh, what kind of games we could uh, look forward to seeing in level of detail wise. Again, I can move in and, in and around the object. Notice how the depth of field changes, blurring effects that they introduce. I can select an object or I can select an object in the background and it focuses in on that one while blurring everything else in the front. Similarly, if I click on the pawn or on the bishop here, it focuses on that object here and then everything else appears blurry in the background. And I can grab that ring and move it around in the world, interact it with the objects. And it's quite impressive, I think. So it's worth trying, just uh, if you get a couple of moments, maybe look it up and download it and have a play with it yourself. 
Thanks for watching and please rate and subscribe.